Hey guys, John V here with phone from Phone Arena. I'm doing a benchmark test here between two devices, the iPhone 4 on the left, on the right being the iPhone 4S. Uh, of course, the iPhone 4S has the faster processor, dual core processor, in fact. So it's supposed to give you, you know, better performance as far as just, uh, you know, everyday normal task and even gaming or graphically intensive applications. Uh, but just like quickly navigating across the home screen, it's very difficult to say which one is the uh, better performance just because they both exhibit really nice fluid tendencies with their movements, tight response. Um, and again, that's something with the simplistic layout of iOS 5. But to better gauge the processing power between the two, it's going to run the benchmark test right here. So let's get started. So we'll run first Linpack. So we've already ran the test, and I'm just going to quickly show you what how, how fast both devices accomplish them. So real quick, iPhone 4S, just like that, less than 5 seconds, finishes the test, and you can still, you can still see the iPhone 4 just chugging away. With the iPhone 4S, it does 138.22 megaflops per second, as opposed to the, to the uh, 33.65 megaflops per second with the iPhone 4. Quickly show you again the test here. Actually, let's do that again. Ready? And there you go. And just goes to show you the pure raw processing power with the iPhone 4 S. It's just not it's not messing around. Um, and again, this show this test just shows that uh, that a that aspect. So let's run the second test here. It's going to be we're going to run a graphically a graphic test here, a 3D benchmark test. And I believe it's going to be in landscape. So let's flip this guy over here. Let's run it. It's a World War II style era game. And just show you the graphics. The graphics are not all that great, but it just gives you a good representation of the performance of both devices. So let's just start this real quick. And you can see pretty smooth with both devices here. Not a problem at all. So we finished the benchmark test. So let's zoom in here so you can see exactly the results. So as far as completing the test, they're roughly in the same time. Eight point, a little bit less than eight. You have 8.2 seconds on the iPhone 4S versus 8.6 on the iPhone 4. And the frames per second is better on the iPhone 4S. 60 frames per second versus 57.36 on the iPhone 4. So not that much of a difference here. Again, just because the graphics on that game, not the most graphically intensive uh, thing that we've seen. So next test we'll run here is the, um, I believe it's called the Comet Benchmark. So let's run that again. It's also going to be in landscape, I believe. So let's see how this looks here. Let's lower down the volume on these guys. Nice background music, soothing. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so right now, um, just one comment. It looks like both are running. Actually, the iPhone 4 is already blazing at 60 frames per second, while the iPhone 4, roughly around the 40, 42, 43 frames per second mark, so let's add an additional comment here, see what happens, really start pushing the pace. Let's keep on adding more comments. Let's see, let's get as many comments as possible here. So we have 10 total on screen. And right now it looks like the iPhone 4S is still winning, 60 frames per second. Uh, just doing a lot better job in terms of just uh, processing everything on, on screen. The iPhone 4 though, um, right now when we have it both set to the sun here, 23 frames per second. So uh, more than more than half the uh, rate that the iPhone 4S has to offer. Again, just go show you the type of graphical processing power that the new device has to offer. So that's done. And the last test here, of course, our favorite, just because it's a uh, you know it's something that's functional and we could actually interact with it. We're going to run Epic Citadel on both devices here. So we'll just quickly run this, wait for it, for them to both load up. We already have the iPhone 4S loaded from previously, so we'll quickly just wait for the iPhone 4 here to get up to the same, same part. So here we go. Just waiting here for a second to load. And here we go. Let's run this. So the bottom again, the iPhone 4, topping iPhone 4S. Let's just see if we can get this guy to work here. Okay, so we're roughly right here at the same part. So let's tap. You can see both are running really nice and smooth. 
just the interaction, the zooming, it looks very smooth on both. Very difficult to say which one is uh, the better. A little bit, jer just a slight jerkiness with the iPhone 4. iPhone 4S though, just handling it very easily. Uh, let's go see if we can walk around here. Show you, try and see if I can find a, a good area here to show some more of the graphical portions of the... So here we go. So let me just get up to here. If I could just move this around. And get the iPhone 4 to the same spot as well. So a good test is always smoke. You can see the top iPhone 4S, the bottom of the iPhone 4. You could see that the uh, iPhone 4S just handles it a little bit better as far as just panning, especially with the smoke effects in play too. So if you're into gaming, definitely want to keep a look at, at the iPhone 4S just because it's going to offer you, you know, the better, better performance in general. So that's pretty much it, guys. So if you want to learn more about both devices, check out our website, phonerena.com. This is John V. Thanks for watching, guys.